We're going to try to put a dent in it tomorrow. The remnants of a uh, tropical system, talking about Nicole and as well as a cold front dropping in, will make for a pretty wet Veterans Day. The max track at the moment is clear. It's going to be a squeeze play. There's a cold front coming in from out west, snow on the back end, and then here's Nicole made landfall uh, just around 3 a.m. this morning uh, near Vero Beach, the east coast of Florida. That low is continuing to work inland. It's been downgraded tropical storm just south of Orlando, and it's eventually going to start to recurve off to the northwest and eventually north. And there are already multiple uh, counties without power, and you can see the, the main area where it made landfall. 70,000 people near Palm Bay uh, without it, and those power outages just continue to climb. There it goes. The National Hurricane Center forecast track takes it into South Georgia, and then by Friday, it's out over the upstate of South Carolina, so it's going to pass to our east, but close enough that we'll catch that some of that tropical moisture streaming out uh, off of that system. And then eventually the severe threat uh, off to the east coast will move uh, right along the east coast and stay off to our east and will dry out later in the weekend. But we are incredibly crispy. We've got that wildfire problem that you heard about Estill County. Uh, we're running, you know, 20, 30, if you're lucky, 40 percent of your typical 30 day rainfall there. So uh, what you're looking at here shows precipitable water. It's essentially a, a measure of how much moisture there is in the atmosphere to work with. And these uh, lower numbers indicative of the very dry situation that we're in now. But notice the moisture ramping up over the next 24 hours. Uh, this is where we'll get into what could be some heavy rainfall as these bands of moisture start to stream in uh, and our cold front pushes in from out west and then through the day Friday you can see that higher moisture content slowly shifting east as the front and that low merge and here's how it plays out of the surface. Here comes your cold front. Here comes that moisture spreading in out ahead of that approaching low that used to be a hurricane and that moisture uh, ramping up in the form of some showers, some thunder showers, locally heavy rain. This is by Friday into the afternoon, so it's going to be tomorrow morning through the afternoon. And then I think that moisture, <clears throat> excuse me, rapidly tapers off by Friday night. Clouds linger. We could even see a few rain or snow showers Saturday morning as a little hint of moisture drifts through there. You can see that quick shot coming through. So uh, we've got much colder air following that system as it comes through. But the rainfall, there's going to be a sharp cutoff towards I-65. But we could be in a range of anywhere between about one to two inches with some uh, isolated three inch amounts possible. You can see some of the heaviest rainfall will be just off to the east. So yeah, it'll be close, but I think we're going to get some beneficial rain out of it. And there'll be additional rain chances next week and not just rain, some scattered rain and or snow showers with this colder air that's coming in. It will linger. That Arctic blast I've been talking about for days now still on track. Our coldest air of the season. Possible highs in the upper 30s for some by Sunday. I think we'll probably be around 40 here. You can see that temperature nosedive going into the upcoming weekend. And then overnight lows are going to be very cold as well. Our coldest of the season with a hard freeze likely for multiple mornings. Lots of lows in the 20s coming up. So get ready to crank up that thermostat. Uh, we've got uh, a beautiful day today, though, so get out and enjoy it. One last dry day. You'll see gradually increasing cloud cover as you go through the day. And then tomorrow, the rain will develop. Could be an issue for the morning commute. Widespread rain, some rumbles of thunder, and then it'll continue into the afternoon. So a pretty soggy Veterans Day, followed by that much colder air over the weekend. Additional shower, rain, or snow chances into next week.